What's going on everyone? This is day one officially, I guess, of the vlog. I've been thinking about doing this for a while now. And, uh, you know, after some friends have been on me, it's kind of like, why not just start now? So here I'm at home church. Today I'm gonna be working in, I don't know what to call this room. I just call it the gross room off the side of the elevator room. Uh, working on the title drop, what you think it should be called in the comments below, I guess. Wow, I'm a YouTuber. Um, yeah, so in this room, I'm gonna be scraping up some old tiles and I'm gonna show, show you guys what those tiles look like. I'm also gonna show you the tools I'm using and there is quite a bit of stuff in this room that needs to be removed. And um, yeah, so let me show you that and I'll talk a little bit about why I'm doing all of this. And then you guys will see me putting this on work. So here we go. So here's the room. Uh, as you can see, we have a lot of different flooring things going on right now. You got concrete over here that has no tiles on it. And then you have concrete with tiles on it. And then there's this backing. I, it's not a paper. I think it's just old adhesive that was on the back of these tiles. And uh, yeah. So here's my my arsenal right now. I got this floor scraper. This short beat's getting on my um, on the ground scraping stuff up, and I'm gonna use that. We'll see how it works. I took up most of this with that little scraper right there. Got a little broom to push that away. Here's my respirator because, you know, it's corona it's time. Uh, and then I got my work gloves. We got a hammer, a little baby crowbar, and then a little putty knife, which I'm surprised I took as much up as I did with that. Oh, look, there's another broom. Okay. Uh, that door takes you to the aloe vera mechanical room. Then we got all this junk over here. This is just old pulpits and such from the church. This was not upstairs in the sanctuary. Honestly, I don't know where this came from. We got some fans. We got that O2 compressor. I'm gonna stop, I'm gonna blow myself up. We got flooring samples too, for whatever reason. We got this thing. We got that like non-automatic humidifier. Okay, we got uh, this big old door for whatever reason. Not sure what that is. This is crack filler and then a uh, sealant. The crack filler, I'm planning on using to fill in these big old cracks. You know, we're not trying to be no crack boys in here. Uh, we're smooth boys all 2020. And then I'm gonna use that uh, sealant to put over top of paint. Now you're like, Matt, you haven't spoken about paint before. Well, I'm glad you brought that up. So went out yesterday and picked up five gallons of paint. This is bare premium concrete and garage self-priming one part epoxy paint. Uh, we got a dark base so that we could color it iron ore, this color. That color is the same in the uh, bathrooms, accent wall and our vestibule and it's kind of gonna be a running theme throughout the church. Now the plan is we're going to use that iron ore paint which is, it's a, it's a thicker paint, so it's going to hold better. And after I put the crack sealer down on the floor, we're going, well, we got clean and such, but we're going to paint the floor. It's just going to look a lot nicer than putting the clear um, sealant down. That was the original plan, but then I was just kind of looking at it, like, this would be really gross. It's really gross now. And we put a clear sealant over, it's going to look really gross, but just a little shiny. So I didn't want gross shiny, I didn't want gross. I said, you know what, let's just paint black, but not black, so iron ore. And uh, yeah, that's the plan. Hopefully it's going to stop some little water issues we've been having. This is a little fix until we have more funds to do major construction. I don't do major construction for those of you that don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. And I'm very open about that. I come from a DIY family, but I still don't know what I'm doing. I watch a lot of YouTube, you know? I watch a lot of YouTube. From drums to building houses to how to build a pool. Yeah, that's what I do. So without further ado, let's get to it. Let's see how much I get done and let's see if this ever actually gets published. Peace.
contractor bags, bag all this up, and when I find pieces like this, they're still down, I'll get on the ground and rip it out. Here's how we're looking. I'm not sure how long it took for me to do this, but also, that's interesting. Uh, yeah. All this stuff, I gotta figure out where the heck I'm gonna put it, so stay tuned. What's up everyone? So finished up uh, getting all the tiles up in this room. As you can see, my shirt changed. Jason got me this dope work shirt. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna give you guys a little update of where we're at. I just had lunch and uh, what the plan is for the days to come. All right, let's take a look. Okay, so here's how the room is looking currently. Um, I got all the bags out. I got everything removed. And I've just been working on uh, sweeping. It's gonna take a lot of sweeping. I brought the shot back down, put a new filter on it, and I'm going to use that to vacuum up a bunch of stuff. I got some incense burning because it smells like death in here, but that's fine. Also, fun fact, there used to be carpet in here. You said carpet. Why would someone put carpet over tile over concrete? Well, that's a good question. Here's this ugly old carpet. Uh, how I know it was in here is because it's poking out on the side of the wall underneath. So next time I'm in here, likely not today, I think I'm going to rip out this carpet, rip out the tiles under it, take all that old weird trim off, and uh, we'll paint in there as well. It's just a little utility room with mechanicals for the elevator, but why not do it all? It's only a couple extra square feet. So yeah, uh, this is how it's looking. I think I'm just going to vacuum it a ton go around and make sure that all of the uh, tiles off the floor get it looking good. I was thinking, well, maybe I need to uh, take all the junk out that's in the cracks and then use the crack filler to get it all smooth because I'm afraid that if I'm painting, the paint's going to go over this crack filler. When I bring the roll back, it's going to bring up any loose stuff. So I'm going to vacuum it well and such. I'm still not sure because that will take a ton of work. Um, because you got a crack that runs the distance there, 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 and then a couple this way. Um, yeah. So I will likely just vacuum everything really well, get all the loose stuff up, and then mop with Lysol to kind of get that the smell of death out of here, and then paint it and uh, put the sealant on it over top, and I think it's going to look pretty good. So yeah, that's everything. So thank you guys for watching. Um, please leave a comment. Let me know what you liked in the video, what you didn't like, any questions you may have. I'm hoping I'm going to make more of these. It's kind of fun. And you guys have said that you actually like watching this stuff, which is pretty dope. But yeah, so this is the room I'm working on off of school for the foreseeable future. Probably gonna finish the semester online. And um, yeah, not really sure what this room is gonna turn into. I'm thinking it's going to be a walkway because we have an entrance or an exit rather uh, well, depends on if you're in the room, to outside right there and there's a ramp and then you go through the door that's right there and you're in the fellowship hall so it'd be a nice way for people to get from outside inside and i think we may make this into kind of like a little lounge you have bible studies in here too so 
maybe an L shaped sofa. We're just gonna make it look nice. And it's gonna look a lot better than it does now. Already it looks a lot better than it did before. And uh, yeah, so let me know what you guys think we should do. Um, we don't have anything specifically that uh, needs a room, but yeah, what do y'all think? All right, take care, be safe, and uh, try something new. Bye-bye.